How many of you believe the documentary from BBC about late apostle or pastor or prophet T.B. Joshua? How many of you guys believe the documentary? Believe all the reveals about this said man of God who is late, who cannot speak for himself. How many of you believe it, guys? Hmm? Because, of course, that man still have a lot of disciples. That man still have a lot of supporters. And again, I've testified all over why again. What I know about this man while he was alive was that he was always doing uh, philanthropic work, giving out, kept giving and giving and helping the needies. That is one of the recordings I have about him and know about him while he was alive. I can testify to that. Whether the money, what he was doing in the backyard, though, in the secret, I wasn't there. And I cannot testify about what I do not know. But guys, how many of you believe that he actually did those things that they are, the BBC are accusing him of? A lot of his disciples then have come out to speak. Speak their mind that they have revealed so many dirty secrets about how he staged fake miracles, about how he is saying these occultic things, and about how he used to uh, bed virgins girls every time and they take the 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 bed sheet afterward and take it to the mountains. So many, 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 many testimonies. And again, the general public are asking, why are you guys revealing this now that is that that is dead? He cannot speak for himself. Let us be honest, guys. A lot of people have been vocal about Pastor T B Joshua. Uh, secret ways, ungodly ways for the past few years. But the media never really paid attention to it. This is not the first time people are coming out to talk about uh, T.B. Joshua. This is not the first time. Let me make that clear. But we never really paid attention to it. And then people are accusing the BBC of being complicit. Someone said, why didn't you guys investigate Tunubu's uh, drug case? Why didn't you guys investigate so many uh, political corruption in Nigeria? Why are you talking about Pastor T.B. Joshua? Someone said, BBC gaslight Tunubu proven certificate forgery. BBC never amplified Tunubu drug business in Chicago the way Daily Loud, Oba Fact, and the other did. BBC looked the other way when the UAE published name of terrorist sponsors in Nigeria. BBC ignored the massive corruption under Buhari and how he failed to deliver his promises. BBC ignored the low hungry food of the massive, okay, BBC failed to investigate the electoral fraud perpetrated by Mohammed, by Mahmoud and Tinubu. The list goes on. That is someone accused the BBC. Say, why are you not talking about Pastor T.B. Joshua when you, you look the other way in so many things that are happening to Nigeria? People will definitely come up with such excuses, such thoughts. Everybody have their individual mind. T.B. Joshua has a lot of supporters. A lot of supporters. A lot. So, and people, and these supporters, we never want anybody to talk ill about Pastor T.B. Joshua because they already idolize him already. They don't want anybody to talk ill about him. It's good and fine. That is understandable. Like I said, I testify to what I know about T.B. Joshua. I cannot testify over things I do not know about him. I cannot judge him for things I do not know. If I knew and if I saw and if I had someone who knew, someone close to me who went through it, then I can say, Past uh, T.B. Joshua did this. But I cannot condemn a man I never met. And I never, there is no video proof to counter what these people are saying. But I have a suggestion though. I have a really, really nice suggestion. According to BBC, they said, for those of you who are asking, why are you speaking out now when Pastor T.B. Joshua is no longer alive? They said, this after the founder, sorry, this after the former disciples gave their first interviews to the BBC, T.B. Joshua died. 
days after Sebi Joshua disciple gave their interview, gave their facts, Pastor T.B. Joshua died. They have already confessed, and days later, the man just by. The man just by. So was, you know, they said good men died quickly. Wicked men don't die quickly. So we do not know. You know, with all those things, we are confused. The media is also complicit at the same time. We do not know what to believe. Everything is confusing. Everything is confusing. We don't know what to believe. We don't know if it's right, if this is wrong, if this is not wrong, if this is right. But I know for sure what you do not know about, what has not been proven, huh? you shouldn't condemn it yet because you were in there. Do not testify over something you know nothing about. Not to get dragged for it and not to commit sin again that against that man. So, that being said, let me give my own suggestion. Since we are all blabbing and talking about Pastor D.B. Joshua's secret life and people want justice for what that man did to them, let me give a suggestion, guys. This man had disciples, disciples who were enabled, who, who hated him in carrying out those idiots acts, and who are confessing currently. So the suggestion is, why, why don't the victim sue those disciples? Yes, they are also liable. It might be that it's the disciples that even whisper to T.B. Joshua's ear that, see, for our business to flourish, you have to do this, you have to do this. Yes, there are disciples like that that will lead their, 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 their main man to do wrong. So the suggestion is the victim should firstly start with them, sue them, drag them to court so that you can get justice from them and also drag the church to court. If the church, if uh, the court can jail those disciples and hold them accountable, then you can proceed from there by suing the, general, the synagogue church of all nations, suing that church and getting compensation from it and getting that church shut down forever. Yes, you can start from there now because those disciples enabled it. And when has it be ever been written that after you confess, you are no longer liable for any sin? But we are, you are also liable for so many sins now because you did so many stuff. You aided it. But that being said, my last remark on this matter before we listen to some few statements from uh, those people, uh, from his disciples and then some victims, my last remark is that please, be that T.B. Joshua is uh, it's a good man or not, please train your kids to be independent when it comes to God. Train your kids to seek for blessings, seek for anything from God directly. Train your kids not to see a man with flesh and bones above them. Train your kids according to the God's way. Let them know that God is open to them just as much as how God is open to T.B. Joshua or any other pastor. Train your kids well, not to make your kids slave. That is why you see so many women, so many men in church being slave to their pastors. And you keep wondering, what kind of brain does this man or woman have? No, it's the way that he was trained or she was trained. It's the way their brain functions. So now, start training your children not to be as lost as some of all those uh, people who will follow their pastors, follow their fake pastor and fake uh, uh, prophet to hell. Because on that day, whoever is your prophet, God will tell you, go and make that prophet to judge you. Yes, you go and meet your prophet to judge you. Then God will judge your prophet. And wherever your prophet goes to, that is where you are going to. Well, let's uh, move past that. Like I've said before, I'm going to play you some of my testimonies from videos. Let's uh, watch it, guys.
One of my jobs was writing articles for the church. He called me in and he said, where's the article? Have you not published it yet? And I said, oh, sorry, sir, I've not published it yet. Um, and then he just slapped me. TB Joshua had a massive temper. New tea people coming and they would be like, he's hot, hey, he's hot. Daddy's hot. And you would literally see everybody just scatter. If you didn't run, you'd get an almighty big slap around the face. And I witnessed that regularly. You didn't see it as physical abuse. We were told it's an honor to get slapped by me because I'm next to Jesus. He wants to control everybody, everything. Our bathroom stalls had just like curtains on them. And if anyone thought you were doing anything, they could just, you know, flip the curtain. We'll bug you. Even your record while you're taking your shower in the bathroom. It's there. Everything is there. I saw myself as a servant, as a vessel of utter surrender to God. I can't describe how tired you were constantly, exhausted, absolutely exhausted, because you've had two hours sleep and you never have more than four hours sleep ever. It is non-stop. It's not uncommon to wake up at four very early in the morning to prepare those. T.B. Joshua asked me to find virgins for him to bring young girls into disciple fold. In the midnight, this person will be called into his bedroom so that he could disvirgin them. When those girls come out, he usually take all the bed sheets and everything. He pack them and take them to the prayer mountain. Time inside. I decided I'm out. I, I can't take this at all. When I left, I went back to confront him because I wanted the abuse to stop. Can come here and meet? I want to I was filming this on my phone in case something bad happened. We'd obviously seen the security manhandle people before. Let me get out. Let me get out. Why can't he come here? What? Is it so early? He cannot come here. There was just Joshua invested more than ninety percent of what we got in VHS videos. The law he gives to cameraman is record everything. So many videos, so many. <laughs> He came with something different, something unusual, something that was never in the Christendom. The whole world had never seen something like this. Who are you? Who are you? My head! My head! My head! My head! Oh! My head! Who are you? When he looked into my eyes, he pierced into my subconscious. His eyes were enchanting. I, I wanted to cry. Evil spirits, these are the people who are demonically possessed, and that's the people we are seeing on the screen of our television right now. Fire! Fire! All part of your body, right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, all your dress, your clothes, your dress, your shirt, every part of your body. You can imagine how powerful he was. There are some things I don't know how to explain. You can deliver somebody with evil spirit just with a single sentence. Why are you... Well, 
I think I've, I've, uh, I've seen enough. So let me know exactly how you, uh, how you see the whole accusation and everything. And uh, catch you next time, please.